Welcome back here, guys, to the crossover. It's your boy Marky Mark, and what we're gonna talk about is some of the exciting and the biggest tournament here in North America. We have the NABA tournament that happened just a few weeks ago. We've been wanting to show this to you guys, all the highlights and the things that we've done throughout that tournament. So check this out. Crossover is here in Pennsylvania. This is NABA 2016, one of three big Filipino tournaments that happen on Labor Day weekend. Marky Mark and I are on location. We're gonna check out the action here as well as interview some key people, so I hope you enjoy. What was the preparation toward this big event? Wow, that's a difficult question, but the preparation involves a lot of uh, help from parents, volunteers, and uh, all other executives from the Naval all over um, the world, you know, Canada and U.S. Uh, it's a very long and tedious process, but uh, the rewards are here, so it is really fulfilling after such a long, long time of working on it. What do you enjoy most about Naval? What do you enjoy the most? What makes you happy about the tournament? Well, I enjoy everything about Naval because there are problems, cities, uh, players, coaches, and everybody that is involved with NABA, they came, they come to me for uh, either assistance or to solve their problems. So that's the most I, the most that I enjoy. I, that's this is the things that I enjoy the most. I like the fact that we get to travel and play basketball with my friends. How about you? Uh, the competition out here is better, and it's just more of a better experience to play with your friends. For me, the competition, you know, and, and watching our kids, they starting from, you know, small kids and growing up and just carrying the team as they get older and seeing them compete with the same group of guys and making the friendships, you know, throughout, throughout the country and traveling. How about you? Same thing, competition. Best of the best, each city. Enjoyable, exciting, fun, 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 fun. I love Nava because you get to be surrounded by Filipinos and they share the same love of basketball as you and it's just a crazy great atmosphere. I just love the competition, like ball is life and like you get to meet so many new people from different countries and states and yeah. Yeah, yeah so that we can play different teams from like Canada and London. Like I just love it here. I love the atmosphere. Uh, I just like it's my first time playing in Naba, so I just like it's basically hanging out with the girls and like doing the whole tournament together. Just fun out, and you know, win is really winning is really good too. But it's just fun. My friends, like I, I have a lot of friends, not just in the U.S. but like yourself and all my all in, in Toronto and wow, someone just stormed the court. That's awesome. I miss that too. I miss the energy. I miss like, but most importantly, my friends because. We built a lot of relationships. Win or lose, we'd still be like, there's be so much love for each other. And there's a whole new crop of generations that it's like, I feel, I feel like we're just moving along and like, I miss everybody, you know? It's so nice to, to have somebody from across the border, across the US saying, oh yeah, I played against them. That's my really good friend. You know, if you visit their city, you'll have a place, someone to visit, you know? And that's what I take to my heart the most. You know, any, any Asian basketball tournament in general, it's just the love that, and, friendships and relationships I've built with everyone. How, um, how does it feel winning the championship again? Um, it feels good as always. I mean, it's, you just get a really good sense of like joy and you know. It felt good because of a lot of us haven't played together. So when we all came together, it was really good to see all the chemistry come together and all that. It was really good. How does it feel like winning it all and winning the championship? It feels great. It feels great to be out here. Shout out to John and the squad. Uh, winning ba winning back to back is the best feeling, especially with guys who've been here for so long. And uh, you know, we won fam. One fam. How does it feel like winning it all and winning the championship? Oh, it's, it's the best feeling in the world, man. It's my first time winning the Nabu Championship, and it's, um, I'm very proud, man. It's from from all the support from all who size moms and dads. I'm just very proud. How do you feel about winning it? I'm so happy for my boys. I've been coaching them since 
they're like novice days, right? And um, this is the third time we won NASA. My question is to you, who's your favorite NBA player and why? Why do you like Kobe? Because he got a lot of shoes. Oh. So do you want to be Kobe when you grow up? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pick Stephen Curry because he likes to create space and likes to send the ball to all his players around him. And he likes to um, score. <laughs> he likes to score a lot. Uh, my favorite NBA player is Chris Paul because like, I think I'm the floor general on my team. So and he's the floor general, so I want to be just like him. You know, pass the ball, feed my players. And yeah, it has to be LeBron because he started out with nothing and he just came out to being one of the best players of all time. And, you know, he's just a motivation for me to play basketball and he just won a championship. So what are the reasons to, for him to be motivation for you? Well, if we're talking about currently, Russell Westbrook probably. He's a great player. He can carry the team, whatever. And I guess like of all time, Allen Iverson, he's a GOAT. All time is probably Kobe Bryant, like, because I just, Inspiration, man. And probably right now, Kyrie Irving with his handles. Or Chris Paul, I don't know. I think my favorite player would be uh, Tony Parker. Like, he's a really good point guard. My favorite NBA player is Steph Curry. He's a fabulous basketball player, and he's a good inspiration. Uh, Dwayne Wade, and so I have this number three. Um, He's just a really good player, I think, like as an older player anyway. Give me a sample. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Uh, uh, kumusta po sa ano, Pilipinas? Uh, magandang gabi. Ah! <laughs> so you guys, how, how, how was that trip to Pennsylvania a few weeks ago? How long, how long did that take? Like six hours? That was a long, it was a long trip. It was a long trip. I that was the hardest part was us like trying to go Hey, you're driving. Who's driving next? <laughs> so, well, yeah, both of you drive, drove, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Drove. I know that, that one that in your, whose car was it? Uh, it's one of our Tito's car. Oh, right? really? Yeah, with Tito Jun. <laughs> yeah, Tito Jun. Shout, 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 shout out to Tito, Tito, Tito Jun. Letting yeah. us use his car. Yeah. And how, yeah, how was the trip overall? Car. Like, besides the basketball, interviewing basketball players and covering the basketball tournament, uh, how was going to Pennsylvania? The venue was actually in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. so... But it was huge. It was huge, it was <laughs> yeah. huge, but other than, other than basketball, we just visited a little local gourmet pizza place. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> and we ended up buying <laughs> so, so much buying pizza so much from pizza them. When we were there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but other, basketball was mo mostly the trip. And you said, you said the, the place that you guys played, that what they played basketball in, it's bigger than what if people know in Toronto, Hoop Dome is. It's bigger than Hoop Dome. Yeah, Hoop Dome only had, you know, Hoop Dome has four, four. actual, four full-size courts. Four full-size courts. At yeah. Pennsylvania, there was like, you could fit four Hoop Domes there because not, not you didn't have two courts, you didn't have four courts, you had more than 14 yeah, courts yeah, in that two. one venue. Yeah. No, obviously, so. I, can, I can imagine like, it's it's the middle of nowhere, so why not make well, what, what a they done bunch with the of place, courts? Yeah, yeah, it was an industrial like uh, manufacturing plant that they basically transformed that industrial plant to a recreation center where, so it had a lot of space, so they accommodated it with all these basketball courts. And there's a second floor where you can basically watch as like, you know, like spectator and watch the whole game from the top. It's pretty nice, actually. Mm -hmm. So if people mm -hmm. want to go to Pennsylvania, what, what do you guys think uh, they should, what, what, do you, what can you recommend them? We Googled oh. thing. Uh, I think Hershey <laughs> is, is it Hershey? Or <laughs> you guys Google. We Google. <laughs> we Google. The places to go there and see yeah. in Pennsylvania, and I think one of them was I think Hershey's uh, the chocolate the factory. It's, there. There's a chocolate factory yeah. there that we wanted that um, we were gonna visit time wise. We couldn't, um, but it was a great experience. Not just like from you know traveling perspective, but the people that we met there, we met so many people that mm. we you know from different parts of you know U.S. Yeah. and from the, and even in London because there was a team from London, right? So we we weren't able to get them on an interview. We wanted to actually get uh, you know just a few words from them, but we weren't able to catch up with the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, so shout out to a London team that oh, played. London, yeah. They came all the way from London. They traveled That's all crazy. the way, mm -hmm. right? And you know, a lot of people from I think Queens was the one that hosted it. Queens, Long Island. Yeah. So shout out to them. A lot of teams that were there. Washington, a lot of players that are actually playing with Division One in um, yeah. In so there was so actually far. a lot of people. Not well, there's some PBA a players, prospects. Yeah. Yeah. Little um, young, like I know one of our one of the teams that I, we watched. We watch. There was a big six six guy, and that guy was yeah. actually a PBA prospect. Yeah. And it was interesting just to see a lot of you know talent at that venue. Yeah. So.
So if you want, stay tuned. For later this episode, we'll go through the bulletin, check out any other tournaments. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at the Crossover FTV. We'll have tournaments posted there if we're going to be covering them. So up next, we'll be introducing a new, brand new segment. Are you guys ready? I'm excited so for excited this, guys. For this. I'm excited. Stay tuned for this brand new segment, guys.